Hi everyone, it's Carolyn here to share another channeled message from the Light Keepers, a group of angelic beings. I channel for your awakening journey and ascension support. So thanks for joining me today. I'm going to talk about something that has been happening to me over the last, I'm going to say, week. And very profoundly, I believe it's another stage in the awakening. And in particular, for those of us who are that first, I'll just say first wave. Now, you can say, oh, well, who's in the first wave? How do you know? Well, you kind of know because you've been doing this for a little bit. Um, some of us are moving faster than others now. Like, people are awakening quickly in this last few months, I've noticed, with the work that I've done with people. Um, yet, you still go through stages. And what I'm talking about today is a stage that's happening now with people who have been doing the awakening for a bit and it is something that I am experiencing right now and again I've had videos out where I've talked about the phases of awakening so I want to talk about this one um, because it is incredibly profound it is truly the phase where honestly for the first time I have felt like and I, I'm seeing this with others where you're actually seeing the 5D start to manifest in your life. And you also feel it in your being. Now, I'm gonna get into the detail of this and I could start getting going on this right now, but first of all, I always wanna welcome everybody here and put up with my voice today because I'm still getting well. And so I'm gonna sound a little scratchy, but thank you for everybody who's new for joining me today. Please like, share, and subscribe because you'll get more content like this on the Awakening and Ascension journey. Below, you're going to see in the description box a link that you can click on to get a video on flow in your body. It's six tips on how to create flow in your body for health and wellness during your awakening journey. So check it out. It'll also lead you to more free content of mine. So I'm Carolyn. I'm a channel. I'm a distance energy healer, and I'm a spiritual awakening mentor. And I offer these channels, as I said, for your awakening journey support. So with respect to this a topic today of a phase that I believe I've identified and that we will all go through. And I do believe it's not all of us at once, it's in waves. And it's subtle, but I'm going to tell you right now, this is the most profound knowing I have had that we are actually shifting. Um, okay, they just said in dimensional frequency vibration of your being and body and all that you manifest. Okay. The, well, I didn't know how to say it and they said it. That's exactly it. Because in the past, what has happened is we, many of us have, we, we, we understand kind of this manifesting idea, right? We understand that our body is shifting and changing and we feel it. Okay. We have moments of feeling like we're in a different vibrational space. Um, or even longer periods of time. So we have all these magical things happening. But what's interesting about, and I'm talking from my perspective, but I also know this has happened with others, but is that in those times, what we have happened is we have like fits and starts. We have, we're going through the awakening. So we're there, we're raising our vibration, our frequency. But these experiences are kind of like this, you know, we go in and out of this, right? Our body goes in and out, out of this. What's happening now is it is a full-on shift, and it's manifesting not only in the way we feel, which I'm going to try to describe in how I've been feeling the last week or two, and also in what is occurring in our day-to-day -day lives. And I'm going to give some examples from other experiences of people that I know about, as well as mine. And I hope I'm able to explain this to you because it's very difficult to do so. Now, those of you who are going through this, I think you know what I'm talking about and you're, it's happening now in this time and space. This is March 3rd, 2020. Okay. So this group of, and I just call, I don't know, first waivers, um, you know, that first wave that we've talked about, kind of um, the ones going through the jungle, cutting down the jungles, paving that path, right? To kind of make it easier for others, because that is a thing. That is what is happening. Okay. Because we are encountering well, I won't go into all of that, but the point is, is 
there is something happening now to the first waivers, and I think most of us are seeing it pretty dramatically, but we might not maybe be able to understand it. And I always like to understand things, okay? I like to understand what's going on because I feel it helps us put two and two together as to what's happening in our own journey and not get so, and honestly, we can all get a little like freaked out about things or anxious. And so I want to offer you a channel from the Light Keepers because as I was pondering just doing this and trying to figure out how I was going to explain it, because it's a feeling I've never had before and experiences I've never had before um, that I do believe you'll be able to apply. But the point is, is I asked the Light Keepers, I said, can you comment on this? Because this is the topic I'm going to talk about. Would you like to do a channel? So they did. So I'm going to read the channel first. Again, the Lightkeepers are, are a group of angelic beings that I've channeled regularly, which actually is how I started my YouTube channel. And um, then what I do in these channels is I talk about the topic and I give some of my experiences. So you really have a takeaway um, to apply to your own journey, regardless of whether you go through this now or later on in your journey. Okay, so here's the channel. Much is changing now, as you are too. The planets rearrange and sing a song to you. Night sky once more beckons and calls. Stars fall from high above, changing their tune to support you with love, recognizing the new energies of these days. The first of you, yes, you feel this way. A significant shift has come. You find in how you feel and actions you'll take in time. Pathways veer and change course too. This is the time you've waited for, and now it comes. But at times, you do not know how to behave. Pulled, yes, every which way. Stuck in the chasm, it feels at times. This is a sign of the changing times. Discomfort and uncertainty, too. Feels as though you have turned a corner, but a wrong one, too. And yet, at times, the right one you find. Disconcerting and never too like anything you have felt during this awakening, too. So find the way to just observe and know you are being led to the way. No worries about what you'll find and let go of the control of the human mind. Lean into the feeling you see and let yourself flow with it like the sea. For the tide comes in and out naturally too, just like you are meant to. Times are changing and so are you. So <laughs> that came flying out this morning when I was like, well, I really want to talk about this topic. Not sure what's going to come out or how I'm going to talk about it. And I hope I can make it um, understandable. And then they just said, sit down and let's go. And so this is really the theme. If you listen back to this again, this is really the theme of what I'm talking about today. And yet it's incredibly profound what is happening right now to people. And it is actually manifesting in our lives. So first of all, I'm just going to tell you how I feel, what's going on with me, and then I'm going to give you some other examples, okay? And you can take this, and again, I do believe it's a phase. As we move through our awakening journey, regardless of where we're at, okay, we continue to raise in vibration as we continue to do our work, because it is about the human coming along for the journey, all right? So you continue to, to participate and, um, you know, work through the things that you're um, dealing with in the awakening journey. We have the energies coming in from the sun, the moon, the stars, the planets, bombarding the earth, bombarding us because we're sentient beings. So we're taking in that energy. We're shifting and changing all around all the time, right? Well, as we do this, we continue to rise in frequency. All right. We continue to rise in vibration. And what is happening is as we are getting closer to this, you know, you can call it 5D, whatever you want. I just call it a new vibration, this vibration that we're, we're working toward and then continue to rise higher. There's a point in time that comes where it all coalesces, okay? But it coalesces in the way of how you feel physically and emotionally and mentally. And then it also pulls together what's going on in your life and the activities that you are involved in and the journey you are having. Now, I'm going to try to explain it from a from the physical perspective. I have felt it's almost like I'm out of my body, but it's not a gr ungrounded thing. It's and it's not a fits and starts. It's I'm completely in a different place now, and I cannot describe it. It's a bit unsettling um because it physically feels so different and yet I cannot put it into words. Oh, they just did for me. 
They said ethereal, and that's 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 a really good word. So it is a, an ethereal feeling. Now, how many of us know what an ethereal feeling is? I realize, but if you can imagine that, it's almost as though I am here. Okay, they just said in between two worlds. Okay, that makes sense. That's how I feel. I feel I'm in between two worlds, but what we're in between is we're in between these two dimensions and we're shifting out now into this 5D space, this energetic space. So that makes so much sense, in between two worlds. Okay, so that's the chasm they're speaking of, okay? So so the chasm that, and I, I actually envisioned this in a client session the other day, so I, I had indicated to them that I was seeing them in a slit within two cliffs. I said, oh, you're in a chasm. Now, this is really where you can often feel stuck. However, you're in between dimensions, essentially, energetic dimension. Now, this doesn't mean, and I know you know how I feel about this and I've talked about this in the information I received. Does not mean you're going to leave. You're not going anywhere. You're not disappearing, all right, off into another earth. This is your vibrational frequency that you're bringing in. So in this individual situation, I was seeing two cliffs and they were stuck in this chasm. And this is really how you start to feel in this phase emotionally and physically. And then guess what? It's also in what's happening in your life. So physically, you're, how I feel is very much ethereal, stuck between two worlds, kind of like I can't move out of it, but I can't move back. Um, it's not any kind of severe physical energetic stuff. You know how we feel when we get really bombarded. I feel like I'm moving out of that. I almost feel like that's not going to happen again to me, but I'm not yet there. So this is a place where, oh, they just said a waiting place. Okay. Okay. They just said for the next shift and change. Okay. They said this, this is your next step, your next step into the higher vibrational frequency. It's almost like you're in this huge area, this huge space. You've made this big leap and now you're waiting, okay? You're waiting in this chasm. And that's what they're verifying for me. And how this plays out in your life, because it's not just a physical thing. Like I'm sitting at this for two weeks and I'm like, oh my God, I'm in a totally different space than I've ever have been before. And how it's playing out in our lives is very different too. So what's happening is, and I'll give you the example of the person that I just mentioned in the chasm visual that I received in their session, was it's playing out in this individual's life because they're in between determining about their marriage. They were off moving in their own direction and uh, leaving the marriage and creating their own life. And now the marriage is pulling them back into the chasm. It's neither good nor bad because this individual is feeling like I'm here where I'm supposed to be to determine if in fact I will be back in this marriage or if I will be moving forward on my own. Again, you've got your two distinct worlds in a way, right? In your own life, but you're in this chasm. Now, interestingly, it will bring discomfort. Well, okay, so what it does bring primarily is anxiety. Okay, so if you're feeling anxiety and you've got two worlds, whatever, however you want to define those, in my example with this individual, it's the marriage are going off on their own when this clearly was the choice originally. And now they are in this phase, very similar to what I'm talking about here. This, this next phase of the awakening, moving to this higher vibration of the two worlds. Okay, so it's their two worlds. Oh my gosh, this is starting to make much, so much more sense. We're choosing in our, our worlds. We're choosing our own individual world that we're going to live in. Okay, I'm having an epiphany, sorry. <laughs> is this accurate? Yeah, okay, they just said yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh, and I have chills. Whoa. Okay, so usually I have some of this figured out beforehand, but um, this is new information. And so for a lot of you, maybe this is something you already know, but going through this experience is completely different. You will know when it's happening, and that's why I'm trying to outline it for people because you'll have something to follow. And again, describing this is extremely difficult, but I hope I'm doing it some justice. So you have your two worlds you have a, you're, you're getting to choose between. Okay, here's some other examples of this. I know someone else that is moving off into a much more public presence or has this has this um, draw to do that. 
but previously has been in the public presence in a very different way. And now with this unsettling, this anxiety that's coming, these two worlds are here and this individual is in the middle, is feeling, okay, they just keep saying in the chasm. That's the way to think about it, in the chasm. And what we do in our human self is we worry and we fret about this. And this is not the time for that. We try to figure out, so therefore we get anxious. We try to figure out what step we're supposed to take, which, which world we're supposed to choose, okay? Where are we headed? Which world? Because now we're faced with these worlds that are offering to us our journey in our life. And so we do this human thing of, well, I've, I've created all this all along in my awakening. I now should know because of the signs and messages of which way to go. Uh-uh, not necessarily because you still have a choice. And now you've moved in this different vibrational frequency into the more of the 5D way because those first forerunners are starting, they're, they're there. I mean, they're, are they there? Okay, yes. See, this is what's happening right now. Okay, moving into that 5D energy. Now you can argue that some people are up in, I don't know, ninth dimension, whatever that even is, right? But so, you know, there are probably some individuals that are like, you know, those, those individuals that are moving in, on their own, but there's a group, a huge group of us that are forerunners that were the wave, there were that first huge wave that's moving through this. So consequently, in this individual situation, we've got, a, we've got two worlds. Do they move from this world to that world in their career, being a public presence, but now in a very different way with respect to this awakening journey and the work that they're doing? And they're feeling extremely anxious about this and stuck a bit, a bit stuck. And I'm going to also talk about what we do about this, okay? Because I'm trying to figure this out myself and I think I have kind of found the solution, although I'm not sure I'm doing great at it, but I'm going to give you my information. Um, I know there are probably seven people who, and I, I don't connect with that many people on a day-to-day -day basis because I'm busy doing my thing, right? But they've shown up in my awareness in spades lately in the last few days where I'm a, I'm a big picture person. I put patterns together and I see what's going on here. And it's different for every single person. So another individual that I'm aware of has is, is feeling something is very different right now. Again, can't put words to it bodily, emotionally, mentally this anxiety ridden time of decision making where all of a sudden something else is available to you, but you were going down this trajectory. So now you're at this fork in a road. A lot of us are being presented with forks in the road. This individual was very much focused on work that they were doing on focusing it on a very niche market. Okay. A very niche group of people. And suddenly whoosh, full whole house switch over with signs and messages galore of no, this is your audience now. Two worlds, two worlds. What are you going to choose? What are you going to choose? What world are you choosing? And they're also feeling this vibrational difference, this shift and change. And they're right here in the middle trying to decide how do I move in that direction? Do I want to move in that direction? It's a choice you make. So a couple of these people that I know are going, okay, I'm going. Okay, got it. I'm going. Others are in anxiety mode, um, trying to determine, what do I do? One ex good example is uh, the individual with the marriage situation, okay? So that is a kind of in the middle, not sure what to do. Others, like I said, are going, I want that world. I'm going to create that world. But this is all being presented at the same time of this humongous energetic shift and change where we are feeling a different kind of energy, a higher dimensional energy, the 5D energy that then embodies us. And then at the same time, we're presented with these worlds. Okay. Another example. This is where I'm at. I know another individual's in this place too. You're feeling the physical part of this where something is up, like you're unsettled. Something is up. You're unsettled, particularly, you know, as in the awakening, we become very sensitive to our shifts and changes in our body, in our emotional state. So what I will say to you is you will start noticing that it's not just a one day energetic spike that's happening. This lasts and mine has lasted 
for two weeks. This has never happened to me before. I'll get upgrades, just like we all do, you know, shifts and changes. Those come, those go. We make our moves. But I honestly do not feel like I'm in this realm anymore. Although I am, obviously. I'm still in 3D physically, working in 3D, doing that work, bringing that energy in. But I've shifted up into this vibrational space where we're able to still operate in 3D, but we're using the energies now. And we're embodying them and they're showing up and they're manifesting in these forks in the road. So I personally am in a space of, I don't know what's up. I don't know my two worlds yet, but I know something's changing and coming. There is something huge that I'm going to either be adding into the work that I'm doing. Um, I have no clue what it is, and which is really unsettling for me because as humans, we have a tendency to, and particularly if, you know, depending on what our work has been, this is another part of it. If we're not used to going with the flow. Guess what? You're used to planning and plotting. This is when it really takes off and you're like, okay, what is I'm supposed to be doing? And really having a struggle with that and knowing you're in this new space. So I don't know what it is. I know I am um, a big part of what I am to be doing is the work that I'm doing here. And then with my Purple Rain Healing Services, but there's more. I don't know what it is, but as many of you know, <laughs> I think I'm about to find out about my other world, my two worlds, okay? So my current world here is what I have going on. How is that going to look in the future? I'm going on this retreat that I've told you about. I leave tomorrow. It's only for two nights and like three days, but it's going to be profound because it's a silent retreat. I am not going to be talking at all, and there's no technology other than when you're out in the parking lot, <laughs> And I'm going to abide by that. Plus, there's prayerful moments. I think something's coming for me. Not that I'll have it unfolded then. But the thing is, my other world is being created and presented to me. And so many of us that are at this phase now, this phase where we are actually truly shifting into the 5D energy and it's sticking, okay? Because you're feeling it. You know it. Things are changing in your life. And you're in the chasm. Okay, you're in the chasm of the two worlds creating themselves. You've got the one, and then the second one is being created, and then you basically kind of decide where you go, essentially. So with my situation and with others that I know of too, it's very, um, can be very anxiety-ridden because you start seeing things shifting and changing in your current world, which you aren't really doing anything to cause. Not that it's a like negative thing, it's actually quite positive, but... It's interesting how when you are in flow, things just do happen. You know, if we ever think we're in control as a human, you know, toss that all aside. The awakening teaches that, right? But consequently, with myself and the others that I'm thinking of right now, this is another way it can manifest for you where you're in the chasm, but you don't know what your other world is. You know the one you're currently in, but it's changing. And mine is work, okay? Mine is for the purpose of work, all right? But typically, it's a whole house shift. Well, I shouldn't say that specifically. What I am very much picking up is it's the world shifting and changing for you, the ones that you're going to have will include the totality of who you are, but it will manifest in a way where you may distinctly notice it first with respect to your work life. Um, you might notice it with your personal life where you're in the chasm of, wow, what's my second world? Oh, wow, I have these two worlds forks in the road to choose. And so what happens then is we are going through this shift and change at the same time. It manifests in, in, in what we're doing day to day. It presents itself to you. And the, the thing is you can't really escape it. And the best thing to do, because it will be presented to you, because this is your higher self working in your favor. We're starting now to actually work out of our higher self. And when your higher self starts speaking, you know what? We're following the higher self. Whatever world it is that the higher self wants you to follow, it's going to create for you. And the more that we lay back and not get anxious and concerned and worried and try to plot and plan and work ourselves out of this, the better off we're going to be because you're just going to create more angst for yourself. And what I have found in this, I'm in the, like I told you, I'm in the middle. I'm, I'm here. I don't know. I have no clue. I have literally no clue what my other world is that this is combining with. And so consequently... I have realized that each day I'm talking to myself, I'm like, okay, just let it go. Let it flow. It's fine. 
ease and grace, ease and grace. Oh, well, that lasts for like an hour, right? And then I'm back into, huh, I wonder what it is. I wonder what it is I'm supposed to be doing. I wonder what it is. And I do that thing, you know, and I'm real good at like getting back into flow. I meditate, all of that. But I'm also one of those, I strive. I do, I, I'm a doer. Um, and I like to know what I'm working on. But at the same time, what this is doing is it is presenting it to you when you're ready for it, okay? When it's ready. And so consequently, as we're moving into this phase of this higher vibration energy, your two worlds get created for you, but you may be in a place where I am, not where I mentioned where the others are, where they're already working on deciding which way they go, all right? Or how's that combined? And using those new 5D energies to manifest that. So I'm in this weird space right now. I know other people are too, where it's um, a little disconcerting. It's just... It, it feels like, oh, they just said the bottom is falling out. Yeah, it feels like the bottom's falling out. Like you don't have any support. When in reality, this journey is all about faith and trust in the universe, in the flow that is offered to us, in each of us. And when we get to this phase, oh my, this is where the faith and trust by leaps and bounds takes off. Because, okay, now they're showing me... <laughs> hmm. Okay, I don't know what this is called. Is it parasailing where you jump off a cliff and you've got the big you know, backpack thing and you got your sail up here and you just jump off the cliff and you go. Trust and faith. That's what they're talking about. You got to just let it rip and go for it. And so consequently, you know, we, we really, as we're moving into this phase, this is really what it's about. Many of you are going to encounter this phase in 2020, I believe. The first waivers now are encountering this currently. And I'm going to darn near guarantee you for most people, it started all in the last couple weeks. There might have been inklings of it in uh, a month ago or the beginning of the year, but this whole year is about this. I did an energy update at the end of last year, and although I'm not one that does a lot of energy updates, I might have done it in August for the new year. I don't know. Anyway, point is, is when I do energy updates, oh, I know I'm supposed to do them. Well, guess what? They talk so much about 2020, how so many people are going to be awakening, but also it's a time of creation. It's a time to create. It's taking what we have done in this awakening so far and then moving into this creation phase, okay? Into in using this 5G energy, creating our two world or creating our, our world that we're going to be in. You may be in this world now, but you're moving into this world. So which world are you going to choose, right? So it's about your individual journey and what you're going to create out of this new energy that you're in. So first waivers, I'm going to tell you, you know who you are. You just know, okay? Those of you who are very brand new to this and just starting out in the awakening, this may sound you know, super trippy or you don't understand it. It doesn't make sense. You're just not there yet. But the thing is, many people are moving lightning speed now through the awakening. It's all at what your own pace is. And I'm just laying out there for you phases that I see that I've done in previous videos. And now this one is clearly a new phase. It's a phase of continued movement forward into the awakening journey. Now we are hitting 5D energy. We're bringing it in, into reality. We're creating our own new world, our own new earth individually. We're all going to do that. That's how this is playing out. Okay. And when we create our own new earth, we're creating it all for the collective as we do that together. So I hope this has been helpful to you because it's ultimately a, not a short term kind of thing that happens like a blip on the screen and you kind of feel like you're back integrating slowly. This is a shift and you're there solid platform, you're there, but it feels super weird emotionally, uh, physically, and then the events in your life, think of the chasm, just remember, you feel like you're in there and you've got two worlds presenting to, your, to yourself or the new one forming out here for you, choices in your life, things that are manifesting, and you're in this world, what world are you gonna choose? So, and it's your choice. So the point of this is, is this is happening now. I, um, I have absolutely no doubt in this. I do believe many of you are going to recognize this. I hope I have done this justice in explaining something that is, you know, we've not experienced this before. We have, well, at least, you know, obviously in this incarnation, who the heck knows if we've attempted this previously. But anyway, needless to say, all of us together now, as we are, you and me, us together, we've not attempted this before. I hope I've done this some justice for you, that you take a piece of something away that's a nugget for you, because that 
is what this is about. I offer you these stories, these channels, so that you can hopefully find a piece or two of the puzzle for your own life journey. So I thank you so much for joining me today. And I remind you again of my services on purplerainhealing.com where I channel information for you on your awakening journey through a variety of services. Channeled messages, I have three different options. I have spiritual awakening mentoring that is just so exciting because it helps you journey forward individually in your own awakening journey. And I channel information for you as well as we work one-on-one -on -one together. And then I offer distance energy healing and channeled messages. So check it out because they are powerful sessions and I would love to work with all of you at some point in time. Again, I hope this has been helpful to you and I so appreciate you being here. And I'll see you in the next video.